Hey guys, this is Positive Writer 08 coming to you with your dose of vitamin P that focuses on uh, how girls react in this situation when they find out that a guy is cheating on them. Okay, so I do not have anything memorized, so I have to look at some notes on my computer, and please forgive me if it looks like my eyes are wandering because I won't be able to see what um, my face looks like in the camera because I'm going to be looking at some words on my screen. So uh, I can't handle how my eyes uh, look or how my face looks because I'm not looking in the camera. So I apologize for that. Okay, so here goes. Okay, so even though I have not been in a relationship yet, I can understand how a girl is devastated by a guy cheating on her. But what I can't understand is why some girls want to destroy the items that belong to their ex or even try to hurt him physically. I mean, there are even singers like Jasmine Sullivan and Carrie Underwood who have sung songs that talk about destroying a guy's car and making him suffer. And my question is, what's the point in resorting to this violent behavior? I mean, will it be worth it if the guy decides to sue the girl for assault? damage the personal property, and trespassing? If you ask me, the answer is no. That's a big N with the little O. I think the mature thing to do if a guy cheats on you is to just leave. That's right, I said leave. Now it may make some girls feel good to destroy stuff, but it's wrong and very immature of them to do if you ask me. There are other guys out there. You shouldn't stay down just because one hurts you. Because if a guy cheats on you, it's proof that he was not the right one for you. So don't beat yourself up about it. Just be patient and know that the right guy is out, um, out there for you somewhere. So you shouldn't stay down about this one. And that is your dose of vitamin P. It's a very short one, but... I hope you guys were able to get that message, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Just let me know by rating this video and um, favoring it if you uh, absolutely loved it. And uh, did I just say and? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I meant to say and, not and. I don't know how that sounds. And. And. I guess I could say it like that. And. Yeah, I think I'll try that. And do not forget. Please make sure that your comments do not have any um, profane language because I do not like to read or hear any profane language as you all are probably aware of. I always mention it in all my videos. So thank you guys for watching and God bless. Bye.